Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some Yoshi's Island. I accidentally skipped over this series a couple times, maybe once, twice. I don't know, but we're not gonna look back. We're just gonna move along as we always do. It's good for you. Oops, I did not. <laughs> I did not mean to hit that, but I did anyway because I'm amazing and you're all amazing. And if you think this series is amazing. Liking the video, commenting, and subscribing would be incredible. So, we've got some balloons, and I will say, balloons are a very fun commodity. However, I think balloons, the sound of them, when they rub together, it makes my teeth itch, and I don't like that. So, if you're near me someday, in my presence, don't you dare rub balloons together, or else. But anyway, I've been doing well. Hopefully you've all been doing well. I made a slight adjustment in my recording setup. Oops. Okay. Okay, everything's horrible. Where historically, my controller had not been of the OG variety, but I was recently able to acquire, which I didn't even know they still made these. I know early going in the Nintendo Switch Online. They debuted the Nintendo Switch NES Online channel, whatever you want to call that. And they also had the Super Nintendo version. And because of that, you could buy these replica controllers. The NES versions would clip onto the side of the Switch, almost like little Joy-Cons. And the Super Nintendo ones, which came a little later, those ones would um, those ones would act more kind of like a pro controller, where they had their own Bluetooth syncing. So I went ahead and bought myself a couple of the Super Nintendo ones. It's fun to play with yourself, but it's more fun when your friends can play with yourself too. So made sure to buy two, and it's been. Uh, Pretty fun, oops. Okay, we're probably dead. And we're dead. Oops. We got the middle ring though, so we're doing okay. Oop, I almost made the same mistake twice. It's my mantra in life. Making mistakes is okay. Just don't make the same mistake twice. Around the same people. So, yeah, I, uh, I bought the Super Nintendo Bluetooth controller, the official one from Nintendo, and I will say, very impressed, it is very good, it's exactly what I was looking for, whoa, that Magic Koopa came in hot, use you, but yeah, it's been great, it's fun to use, it feels more authentic playing it this way, I would recommend they're not the cheapest, but they're also not horribly priced. I think that the ones I bought, which I've been looking for for a long time, they're always out of, out of stock. I'd always pull up the Nintendo online store looking to buy one and they would never have them. Maybe supply chain issues or whatever, but... Um, and this has been going on for a long time, like we're talking multiple years. Oh boy. Oh, stop it. I don't need you to go away. But, yeah, mul we're talking multiple years here, and I was finally able to buy a pair. Couldn't grow a pair, but I could buy them. So that's been good, and I have them now, so I'm very excited. Playing with one right now. It's a very interesting and unique and fun way to play, so... I don't remember you could, like, shoot these things from underneath and it would count sometimes. Not that I really... I'm super concerned with it. I'm not. Let's see what this is. Okay, another sunflower. Take it, and we'll just move along. Like you know we should. Alright. So this level of the two today is not so bad. It's kind of your... standard... Yoshi fare. However, the level after this one, the fortress level, if I remember correctly, from my brief time going through it, 
is a bit tricky and pretty infuriating. So hopefully I can figure it out on my first try. I mean, I always figure it out on my first try. You all know that, but you know, in general. Just trying to keep the quality high on this channel, you know? Give people what they deserve. All right, so I think we're getting close to the end of this one. Uh, what on earth is this? It's like, a, like an accordion or some sort of like a giant, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Okay. Well, this blows. All right. Um... Hopefully I put enough juice in it. Look up there. Okay. Okay, ooh. All right, wasn't expecting that. Am I going the right... Wait a second. I don't trust where I'm going. I mean, that much hasn't changed, at least, um... You know, I could say... that I don't really know where I'm going half the time. Maybe more than half the time. Most of the time? Ooh, are these fake fake one-ups? That's kind of rude, isn't it? I'm just trying to get through this first part, knowing that the, the next part of this level is going to be abject horror. Okay, no bonus. We didn't want it anyway, it's fine. We deserved one, but we didn't get it. That's okay, but what we did get is 100%. Very nice. Ooh, deep breath, viewers, here we go. This one's gonna be a doozy today. Marching Mildy, Mildew? It's Fort? Now, don't let this initial part fool you. Oh boy. The meat of this level does not occur, oh boy, outside. Well, this is terrifying. Oh, it's a race against the clock. Don't worry, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it! We're not gonna make it! I don't even know where Mario is. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. Well, we built a staircase in his honor, even though we, uh, let him get captured. You know, there's worse things I think that could happen. Let's try this stage again. That sounds like a good idea, huh? Okay. I take two. Whoa. Has anybody ever had a take five, the candy bars? Whoa. All right, so note to self, basically just need to not uh, die at the end of this level. Oh, 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 it waited for me. <laughs> and it kind of slowed down. I do like the, uh, the little Bow Wow animation of breaking his little teeths. Little, I mean, those are pretty, pretty, ma pretty massive. Okay, so we are almost ready. I don't know why... I don't know why they are doing it this way, where they feel like having multiple staircases and staircase creation clouds is interesting in any potential way, but it is not. But here we go. So this is the gimmick of this level. There are four quadrants bearing four keys. We need to come away with said four keys to unlock the pathway forward. Is it a pain in the butt? Yes. Are there instant kills along the way? Yes. So, you can do them in any order that you'd want. It doesn't really matter. I like to do this one first from my brief previous trials. I know I said that I don't typically play through these in advance, but I tried to record this previously and there was something wrong with the game so I wanted to give it another shot and make sure that it wasn't something wrong with with my setup. You don't want something to be wrong with your setup. All right. No, 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 no. So let's ride this boy all the way to the top. Okay, very nice. So you gotta be a little careful with this one. These little quadrants aren't huge, but you've got spaghetti monsters down here that will spit tomato sauce at you, and that's an instant kill. So, just a heads up for ya. Oh, no. 
I would like to continue. No, no. Okay, that's fine. Hey, you got to be careful with these goo monsters here. But at the end of every quadrant, you'll get a key if you're successful in proceeding, which we will be because we're epic and you guys are epic. So first key unlocks the actual door to get into this realm of shenanigans. But you're gonna need three more. So I'm gonna go in order from most difficult, in my opinion, to least difficult. Actually, I don't know, I don't remember any of them, so never mind, I'm just going to do them in whatever order I feel like in the moment. So you're welcome for that. A little spontaneity for your day. We now have uh, shy guys here who are shooting bullets at us. So that's pretty rude. They need to cool their jets. All right, so. Each little area, like I said, not too bad, but these blue poo crystals on the bottom here, those will kill you. Those are one hit kills, which for some reason they felt like that was a, a fun mechanic to put in this level. Uh, it's not. It's not fun, but if you touch any of them, you will die. So, just a fun fact. I don't know. I'd like to get rid of this guy here. The only problem is I don't remember exactly where anything is, so... Trying to find the key sometimes can be a little tricky. Sometimes the doors will take you right back out to the beginning of this thing, which this might do it. Oh, it is not? Okay, so I think this might be the key, maybe? All right. Is this death down here, though? Oh, no, it is not. We have these weird little... Kirby knockoff boys. Just hanging out, just marching in step, having a good gosh dang time. Can't fault them for that. But just don't touch anything on the sides. Or the bottom. Don't touch your bottom. At least not when there's people around. Okay, so we're making pretty good progress. We are 50% of the way there so far. Now, here's something to keep in mind. While you are doing this, if at any point you touch the instant death obstacles, the game will reset you back to the beginning, and you'll have to get all four keys again, which, I don't know how you feel about that, viewers, but I think that turbo sucks. So I'm gonna try not to have that happen, because it makes me a grumpus, and I don't like it, so... We will do our best to avoid it. You can always keep coming in here to refill your eggs. Eggs, if you need it. They will be there for you, no matter what, but... This area is still going to be locked off until you get your final two keys! So keep that in mind. Not the worst challenge, but it is time consuming. It's a time consumer. Time consume me. Alright, so we did the bottom left and the bottom right. Let's go ahead and do the top left. I don't know if this one has any instant kill items in it. It might. It's been a hot minute since I've experienced the horrors that we are embarking upon here. And a boop. Bye. I don't know if there's anything in this. I don't know if I need to even... No. Just coins. What do you mean, D-Mike? Just coins. We're not here for the riches. We're here for the glory. All right. So in this area, I want to say that these characters that are spitting crap at us are from some other like Yoshi's Yoshi's Island or like not Yoshi's Island like Yoshi's Cookie or something like that or some other game that's around they're gonna be spitting shenanigans at us we have a little bit of a maze here to navigate and oops I don't know what I thought was gonna happen there Okay, we are doing just fine. We're making great progress. I will tell you in advance the amount of times having to go back and redo this when you mess up. Mmm. Kind of makes you question your uh, your sanity a little bit. 
That is key number three. I don't know if you need to deposit each key after you're done. I'm just doing it for safety. The safety first, of course. So I'm just going to continue to do that. I mean, the mechanic here isn't bad. I like the idea of kind of having to go and do like a little bit of a... It's not really a boss rush per se, but... Um, you know, you have to go through all these distinct areas and gather the item that you need. The only downside is that it's just annoying and takes a while. But if you're into that... It does challenge you. This is the ultimate challenge. Potentially the hardest challenge of any video game ever created. Okay, we did that one. Uh, we do this. We did this one. Well, maybe I didn't do this one. No, I did not do this one. This one is probably my least favorite. This one does have instant kill items in it, so I'm going to be very careful. This one, I would say, is probably the toughest one. Aside from maybe the, the one with the lava. This one is tough just because there's a lot of enemies in it. And this is just pure chaos. I feel like we're playing a little bit of Brick Break. Or... I don't remember what that game is called. The actual name of it. Something of an A, maybe? It's the game that has, like, the control wheel on it. Alright, so there's these boys that are real annoying. And that's how you get rid of them. You just smash them with your butt. Show them your buns, and they'll go away. I don't have any eggs, so I will grab this. Eggs, and... We will do our best to avoid the large bullet bills. Those can be consumed, though. So, if that is a concern for you, fear not. You can turn them into weapon, your own weapon, or you can turn it back on the enemy. Pretty nice. All right, so we are flowing right along. Proof, there it is. The little bullets, the big bullets. The little bill, the big bill. But yes, don't touch the uh, blue crystals. Those will kill you, so... Just something to be mindful of. I mean, it's something to definitely be mindful of unless you like redoing all four levels over and over again, which I don't. But I have had to do many times. In a previous recording. Okay, I was gonna say, please let this end. And getting rid of these kidnappers is pretty paramount. Pictures to your success. If you don't get rid of them, you will have to deal with them coming after you multiple times in a row. And you can't kill them with eggs, so you're probably better off just doing it the old-fashioned way. Everybody loves a nice old-fashioned. All right, let's get some new eggs here. If this rocket launcher could speed it up. I got places to be, sir. All right, three should be good. Oops, I missed. Not a big deal, because I think the key is this one. It is. Alright, now your challenge is to escape. Escape from the city. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Okay. I think you can just go back the way you came. Oof. Maybe. Actually, don't know. I'm going to attempt to go back this way, but I've got a feeling that I'm wrong. And that I was supposed to go another way. Yeah, okay. I think there's a little bit of a, a break in the path halfway between here and the other lower set of rocket launchers that the game wants you to follow along. Always gotta follow the rules, you know? Trying to tell me who's in charge and yeah, it's down there. Okay, anyway, whoop, bye. Stole your lunch money, bud. And there's this guy. This one's a little annoying. Alright, this looks like this is the way out. And that's four keys all in a row. You're welcome. That's a quality episode of a Let's Play, I would say. If you don't think so, then you're wrong. Okay, here we go. So that's key number four, the key! I will tell you though, my first go around bringing it around town was pretty painful and I did not do well. Play-wise, I was pretty much a huge grumpus, so as you can expect. Having to redo these levels, especially when you get to three of the four, pretty infuriating. But I did it in one try, for all of you, because I care. 
All right, jump over that little drawbridge. I don't know why they thought that was a difficult obstacle, but I guess it just looks cool. All right, and now grab the checkpoint so we can just go right into the boss fight with Mildew. I hate Mildew. It stinks. Especially when it's on your clothes. Ugh. Like, can you leave your clothes in the washer a little bit too long if you forget about them and don't move them to the dry right away? Eww. Yoshi, oh dear, while marching Mildew will pound you to bits. Okay. So here's uh, the soon-to-be boss, one of these little one of these little boys, these little... I'm trying to think of what they're... Oh, that's terrifying. He's huge! Oh, okay. Apparently we cannot hit Mildew from the front. Uh, oh no. Maybe we gotta butt stomp him? Oh, that is correct. I have used the power of deduction. Whoop! Oh, this is, that's kind of a neat, uh, neat mechanic here. Makes me think of the slimes from, like, Minecraft. Ooh, and this lets you, uh, I guess you don't really need eggs. <laughs> I do like the sound, though. Boing! So many of them to kill them. But they're so happy. I kind of feel bad. Oh. I'm assuming we're gonna have to kill all the little ones, too, which is a bit of a chore. Oh, you know what? I think we can just step on them. Ugh. Come on. Oh, I had one in, I guess you had one in his mouth. I'm sorry, bud. I'm honestly shocked that this game is not encountering any sort of slowdown from how many of these little buggers are on the screen. Usually those old Super Nintendo games would have some trouble. In my experiences. But we did it. That's a boss fight. And a completed episode. Okay. And 100% success, as per usual. Wonderful. Okay, so that was two levels down. Next time on Super Nintendo Sundays, we will, well, for this series, which I won't skip again, we'll be taking on World 4, levels 5 and 6. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays Yoshi's Island, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.